it's Express Amber. In this video, we are going to talk about the UCR, Unified Carrier Registration. So it's that time of year again. The leaves are falling. We're getting ready for Thanksgiving. You've already had Halloween and trick-or-treating and Christmas is coming up. But that also means your year-end registrations. So if your plates are expiring, maybe your IFTA tags are expiring. But also one of the things that is due by December 31st is the Unified Carrier Registration or UCR. And if your vehicle is over 10,000 pounds and crossing state lines, you are required to file the UCR. When you file UCR, you are filing for the year in advance. So this year you're filing the 2022 UCR fees. And the fees are based on how many vehicles that are operating under your DOT number. So if you are not sure how many vehicles are listed on your DOT, you can go to the FMCSA website and type in your DOT number and it will pull up all of your company information. And if the number of vehicles listed is correct, perfect. If you need to update that, you should do a DOT update to update the number of vehicles on your DOT number first. Wait for that to hit the, the site. It usually takes about 24 hours, um, maybe 48 hours for that to update, and then go file your UCR. The UCR fees are based on the number of trucks, and so it ranges all the way from one truck up to, you know, over however many trucks. And so there is a fee chart that we will show uh, on the screen so that you can see how much your UCR fees. And if you would like somebody to file the UCR for you so that you don't even have to worry about it, you can go to TS in America, Truck Services of North America, and um, they will file the UCR for you right over the phone. You don't have to do any Thing. You just tell them the information, they'll send you the paperwork, and they'll get that taken care of for you. So sometimes we get the question, well, what, what is the UCR and why do I have to file it? The fees that are collected from your UCR filings are used to train new DOT officers. And we know that you love the DOT officers. So uh, yes, there's that. Um, there are uh, there are some states that do not quote participate and those states are shown in gray on the map that we have up on the screen. If you live in one of those states but yet you cross state lines, you still have to file UCR. You would just use the closest state to you to file the UCR. Uh, so you don't want to get, get caught crossing state lines without your UCR filed, there could be a penalty between one and $5,000, just depending on how many trucks that you have on the road. And also you can get the trucks pulled off the road until you get all that straightened out. So make sure that you file the 2022 UCR by December 31st of 2021. And again, if you would like us to file the UCR for you, you can go to um, tsinamerica.com.